Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Facial cupping is a well-known skincare treatment that has been used for centuries to improve the appearance of your skin. It's been known to increase circulation in the skin, bring oxygen to the surface, and give an overall youthful appearance. So it is definitely something that I wanted to try. So I went ahead and picked up my own set of facial cupping. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how that goes. <laughs> if that sounds like something you're interested, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. In case you guys haven't heard about facial cupping and you don't really know what it is, I'm just reading off of healthline.com. It says, how does it work? The suction effect pulls blood into the area of the skin underneath the cup. This saturates the surrounding tissue with fresh blood and promotes new blood vessel formation. This vacuum-like suction separates different layers of the skin tissue, resulting in microtrauma and tearing. This triggers an inflammatory response, flooding the area with white blood cells, flatlets, and other healing aids. So essentially it just micro damages the skin, I guess, to rush all those white blood cells to the area and help them fix the skin rapidly. So I guess you can kind of put this in a similar category as micro needling. Um, because it you know creates a little bit of inflammation into the skin or a little bit of micro tears into the skin to help it heal faster and better and so some of the benefits it's been known to uh, increase oxygen rich blood circulation strengthen the skin and connective tissues stimulate the cells response for collagen production and relax muscle tension and so when you do this people experience brightened skin it minimizes the appearance of scars fine lines and wrinkles it tones your chin jaw line neck and decolletage it decreases puffiness it reduces it reduces oil production and improves nutrient delivery and product absorption. So everything that you apply afterwards will be much, much better. Um, so it is the end of the day and my skin looks a little bit sunken in at this point. There's a few lines around my eyes. I am in my mid twenties, so I'm starting to get some fine lines, especially on my forehead. My Nesbo lines here around my, my cheek, my smile lines, they're starting to be a little bit more pronounced. And so hopefully this will help to puff that out a little bit and just give me a more useful full appearance I swear to god like I leave for work in the morning and I look like a 12 year old I come home from work and I look like I'm 45 I don't know how that works but anyways but this is what they look like they're these tiny little suction cups I got these ones from black touch and they were $25 if I'm not mistaken they come with two large suction cups and two mini suction cups as well as a um, I guess a scrubby to spread and you oil around your face and that also comes in a beautiful velvet pouch to keep it all together. So I'm gonna just dunk these in alcohol for a second to sanitize them, wash my face, and I will be right back. I've already did the first step, which is to cleanse your skin, tone, and exfoliate. I've done all of that. So now we're going to apply some oil to our skin. Today I am using the Ordinary Cold Press Virgin Marilla Oil, as well as Cosmia Australia's Rosehip Oil, and that's going to be my oil of choice. Now, as I'm doing this, I do wanna talk a little bit about the cupping itself. I've done quite a bit of research to really find out like how to use it properly. And I will put that all in a blog post. So it'll be a quick handy reference if you guys do wanna know more details. But essentially, a couple things I would first recommend. Don't wear any makeup, obviously. Don't shave or do any type of tweezing, hair removal. And also stay out of the sun for at least 12 hours because your skin may become a little bit sensitive. You may break out a little bit because of this as you're stimulating the skin and bringing all the toxins to your the surface of your skin. You may see a few breakouts, but as you continue to use it, um, you won't really get that anymore. But they also recommend not to use it if you have any active breakouts on your skin, if there are any cold sores, any open wounds, cuts, if you have eczema. Um, I'll leave the complete list in the blog post as well. They say to first start at your clavicle, which in the videos I see that's this section right here by your neck. This is first stimulating the pockets where that drainage is gonna go. You don't have to start at your neck, but the videos that I've seen they do, just so there's somewhere for all that fluid to go. So you can start like right here around the contours. We're gonna start here. You squeeze, you release, you glide with a little bit of pressure. You squeeze again to release. 
okay? And you just wanna make sure that you are not um, leaving this cup anywhere. It's not supposed to bruise your skin, but if you are leaving it somewhere, you may see a bit of bruising on your skin. Just keep it always in motion. And they say go over every area three times before moving on. So this would be the third. Okay. So essentially you have a few drainage spots here by your temples. You have like your nose, which is your sinuses, right? So those drain right there. You have here by your ears, as well as this clavicle as they call it. And you have here by your armpits. So essentially you're moving all the fluid to those areas. So I'm going to go up a little bit and down. So now that I've reached my clavicle, the base of the neck, move outwards, move upwards towards the ear and let go. And after you've done that three times, you want to move to the center of the chin and glide along the jaw to the ear. I'm reading off my notebook. <laughs> so here, center of the chin. Once you've done that three times, you wanna get the smaller version of it, put it along the center of the lip, and glide outwards towards the ear. Now there's two type of facial cupping that you can do. So the first one is called sight cupping and it's where you take the cup, you put it on a deep wrinkle and you leave it there for a moment. So leave it for a few seconds. I'm gonna do this on my Nesbo lines cause they're quite deep. So this sight cupping is supposed to essentially plump the skin and bring oxygen, blood, as well as nutrients to that area. And it's really supposed to help get rid of any fine lines. So any deep lines that you have, sorry. So I'm just putting this on this Nesbol lines on my skin. And release. Leave it there. And release. And now suction and glide. Two, three. There we go. I'm gonna do four for good measure. <laughs> so conversely, if you're gliding this on the skin, it's supposed to reduce congestion as well as assist in lymphatic drainage. So now that we're done that, we are going to go to the inner eye. So using the small one again, and we're gonna drag from the inner eye outwards. So right here. And then next you're gonna go under the brow and do the same thing right here. So I have a little bit of a deep line appearing here by my eyes. So we're gonna do sight cupping for a couple seconds. As you guys can see, I'm starting with a very slow cupping motion. And that is essentially because I wanna first tackle that lymphatic drainage and open up the skin, as well as get rid of any puffiness. Now I'm gonna go back again with like faster movements rather than going so slow, because that's what's gonna to help to actually bring that circulation to the skin, as well as increase that collagen. We're gonna put it right here between our brows and let that sit for a second. Okay. Once that's done, I'm gonna go back in with the big one and we're gonna go by our cheek, suction, and pull out. So everything you're doing, you're literally moving the liquid starting from the bottom, then go to your eyes down, then your forehead down. Okay, and number three, and now, we're gonna take this around the jaw. Sorry. Now, we're gonna start back at our forehead. Suction from the center. And go out above the, sorry, <laughs> try that again. So the forehead, and go out above the brow, down the sides of your temple, and to the top of your ear. Three. Move up to the center of the forehead. Now move up to the hairline. Ooh. 
for the last one. When you reach here, bring all the way down to your jaw, down the neck, to your clavicle, and bring it to your armpit to drain. So now you return to the clavicle once again and repeat on the other side. Let's do this. Now that that's done, you can actually go back in a little bit faster for some circulation. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm done going over the other side of my face as well as going it over quickly as well to increase that circulation. And I've just kind of massaged the rest of the oil in my skin. Depending on what you've used to put this on, you may have to rinse it off. But since mine was just a facial oil on top of my skincare, I'm fine. I may just apply some eye cream though. So you can do this a facial massage every 72 hours. Depending on how sensitive your skin is, you may want to give it like once a week, especially if you're just starting give your time some face give your face some time to get used to it i will insert some footage on how my skin looks the following days the next three days after doing this so you guys can really see the effect but as of right now the smile lines that i have oh first of all my face is so soft the smile lines they honestly immediately don't look as pronounced i think if you were to do this on a consistent basis you're going to see an improvement because i can see this right now once again this is immediate now if you were going somewhere as they say you would want to do it maybe three to five days before going to an event because you may break out but so far i feel like my skin looks really alive i feel like it's really plump and cushiony i don't look 45 anymore i look like a 12 year old again my skin still looks really smooth um the smile lines that way they are not as pronounced even under my eyes it doesn't look as bad anymore it does say that you're going to break out a little bit, so I did develop a little something here on my forehead. This one was there since the day I originally filmed the video, so that's not concerning. And there's a few that popped up right here. But other than that, you can see this one went down completely. Um, other than that, I don't see anything else on my skin, so that's really exciting. Okay, so this is the second time doing it, and I think my skin looks really good. These smile lines don't have anything crazy. Like I said, I know that they say you're supposed to break out, but since I've been doing such good things to my skin, pat myself on the back, I haven't really been breaking out a lot. I just started my period, and I only have this one on my forehead, the one by my cheek, and that is it for all my active pimples. So that's pretty darn amazing. Um, but I think my skin feels really smooth. It looks really plump. And I'm excited to continue working this into my routine. Um, the second time I did it, it did not take as long as previously because I was like really meticulously following the instructions, but now I kind of get how to do it. So I think it's something you can incorporate into your routine. I do like it. And the results are undeniable. They are there. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I loved making it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried facial cupping. I would love to know. Go ahead and click over here for more of my videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.